I haven't completed my playthrough of Monster Hunter Rise on the Switch, and I'm probably going to pick it up again on the PS4 and play with my buddies, Mr. Kuso, What Are You Gaming, and my wife, Rika. But I decided I just wanted to record really quick my thoughts that I initially had with Rise. I recorded this all throughout my first playthrough, and I'm going to do it really fast. It's completely random, so here we go. I love the monster and map intros. My favorite theme is at the Lava Caverns. Surprisingly, I do like the map designs, and I called it, we did go back to the old world. I like how the old world maps got connected without loading screens, but it made me wonder how close are Kimura and Moga, and why were new world monsters in the old world with no explanation, I didn't like that. Or maybe there was one and I just missed it. It's been hard reading text as I get older. Maybe they should have brought back Kurupeko instead of Kuluyaku, and Gobo instead of Juro Todos. And I was wrong. I like the Japanese vibe. Kimura does have a certain charm to it, but where are the geisha? And since they insist on bringing back old monsters, I wish all the returning monster armor would have gotten some kind of Japanese design. I absolutely love the food cinematics. The rampage was cool, but not. Rise has finally made me tired of the low rank, high rank grind. The colors and effects are nice. I like the wire bug for movement. I don't like it in combat. I hope they never bring it back. Not a fan of riding and controlling monsters in combat. I absolutely love switch skills. Thought I would miss the encore of the hunting horn, but I love what they've done with the horn. But I still like some of my older video ideas. Knowing that the hunting horn was going to be the weapon I used the most, I named and modeled my hunter after Mie, Mitsuyo, Nemoto from Pink Lady. I like Minoto more than Hinoa. Thank God for Monster Hunter language, because the English dub is terrible. Set up to 